Not there. I See? Got stopped on the way because people were talking about your saddle. Progress. Huh? Progress. I know. These stirrups, are they long? Actually, they look good. Yeah. What did they say about the saddle? Uh, they were asking if those were rose gold crystals. And then I was like, no, but I did have a meeting with Alex. And they upped their Swarovski. Uh, they upgraded their Swarovski um, contract and uh, are going to put rose gold crystals. And now you can have crystals in more places. Teed to hand meter 60 jumper. And he was just a little section B Welsh stallion. And he had his full heart and determination <laughs> set to make wool bomba. <laughs> I thought that was the cutest story. I know, that's awesome. I was walking the canner. Yeah. And then we come back to the trot. So if we're having troubles, like just canter him out early. Yeah. Because it'll bring him along super well. Yeah. So when you see the videos, she doesn't look like a, a starter up down kid. No. Is that a question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. In your test, or I don't know if you guys are interested in showing at the end of the year, but so I shouldn't say that. But sorry. Is that a no? Really good feel. And so already, like. He obviously started out in a better mood today yeah. than yesterday being in the jump arena after. Oh. <laughs> Was that a trippy yeah. trip? Yeah, okay, good. After, uh, you know, I yeah. don't know, like, obviously he had not time off, but uh, I know Sam was doing the lunging while you guys came. We're going to have a better flat ride yeah. than we ended yesterday. And I thought we ended great, but then the jumping was exceptional, right? Like That's because the little stallion had a, you know... Had a yeah. party time. Yeah. No, the little the little you stallion. Spent about seven circles to the left and only one to the right. I don't know. Okay, that's I it's not there is no wrong answer to that question. I'm just I'm challenging you now. I don't have to tell you everything what to do unless we're having trouble. This obviously is really good. Your feel, your connection, his response is all spot on today. So in moments like that, I'm going to challenge you as a trainer, right? Like in that moment, did, you could have said a hundred different things. If you didn't know that that's something you need to work on for you. If you were like, no, you felt really good to the right and you were stuck on the left, fine. But then also consider his evenness. Like there are a hundred answers to that question. But if it was just that if you find it easier or you just felt like it, then you have to challenge yourself to make sure you warm him up evenly in both ways. Are you pretty happy with what you have going on here? Yes, but I think it could be lower. I agree. But can you do more now that you've got to this point, right? Is he holding a rhythm really well? Yes. And yes, it's, it's, it's a constant communication that you're having to have. Right now to get him to get lower, but in that constant communication, are you uh, feel like you're able to start changing the trot or do something else in it? Because if you can, what I would be doing is forward and back and coming back in like that little C shape where you're hot. you ask now step from the hind end and the shoulder.
been trained in the past. And so our next goal is that in warm up one day, you can do both of those without him getting against you. Good. And another repetition until you feel like he doesn't completely unravel. And notches in, nose in. never been asked that before that's fine just stay there it's no big deal let's do one at a time then let's do the shoulder left side okay let's do it yeah let's do it the other way first that's fine One thing Abby doesn't realize is she has a subconscious avoidance for the difficult. Okay. And so what, what, and I point it out to her and then she gets defensive. Okay. And so it's good you brought that up because she's not going to build symmetry, muscular symmetry if she yeah. doesn't do. Yeah, and we, I can tell that, yeah, good there, softer there. That was super. You see left? Huh? Yeah. It's easier, right? Yeah. Yes, it's still a struggle. But you like it's a bit easier to get through on that side. And I did notice yesterday that to the left in general, that's a bit why I asked. That's super there. Good, let him out of it. Uh, that in general, he was easier to get on the bit to the left. And so that's nice if you're like, okay, I need that for a moment to get my point across. But we have to be able to do it both ways. Yep. know what you can get on the other side first let's take a step back for a minute I want you to just bend him right and push the shoulder to the outside away from your right leg until he gets rounder there yep just nice and easy nice and easy just hold your right leg on Right there. 
Open your inside right and put your calf on right behind the girth. And you're just gonna sit like that. I don't care if he looks like this for 10 circles. Ultimately, this will be the training that we need. Good with your hands to stay wide. Inside leg right behind the girth, you got it. I know it feels funny, I don't care what he does. Get wide, there, you're starting to get it. That's it. harder for him in the canner. They can't canner with their haunches to the outside, so we'll have to ask him to trot to do this. Yes, we can fix it easier in the canner as far as bend goes. But I want you to be able to just put your right leg on and get him to step over without him having a little mini panic attack. That's getting better. Yes, that's getting better. Good job. Good. And now we're going to separate the two because this side clearly much harder. Now I want you to say stay round, stay straight, just a little haunches in. Nothing scary, nothing big, nothing aggressive. Just feel like I understand that this way you clearly panic a lot more. Right? If this side's much harder for him, just stay there. Yes. 
so beautiful. Good, Abby. I love this. Good, straight. From the outside, careful. You really like this left side, I'm noticing, and it's making it. Remember when I got, not yelled at, but remember when David O'Connor was like, all you do is let my, your horses fall to the outside. That's what's happening here. So next lesson, we'll bring out some cones. But this is our first actual lesson where we're really kind of getting to know him. I love this collected canner. Good, and then just nicely stop your hip to trot, and we'll work on the right canner. Ah, super. A little pet on his neck, good boy. Good, in the sitting, same thing. Gently wrap that right leg on and just open the rein and keep working it down. Ride to your hand in your sitting trot. That's it, good, and then straighten from the outside. Good, and then step to king. Love that, so good. straighter on this side. So that's just things that we're learning, whether that's him, you, or the bull. See how you're very quick to be able to turn him off your outside, which I love, right? We got to be able to do that on the right. Now go ahead and let him spiral out off the left as you stretch now. Yeah, oh, sorry, off the right, off the right, off the right, sorry. Good for you. <laughs> Love it. Good. And then go ahead and spiral him back in as you let him come up in the frame. Do you see what we're doing there as far as training? The easier side, we're making him have a shorter frame and have to be uphill, and you actually ride out to it, right? And make him spiral in. And the harder side, we're letting be the stretchy, get low in the frame. Because right now, when you ask him to move off the right, he wants to put his ears into your mouth again. Good, now spiral out, stretching. Your outside rein, good job. Nose out, that's better. Love that. Much better in the frame as far as the stretching goes. You'll get, even though he's not as low as you want him, that will give you more points than when he was curled over to his knees. Good, and then pick him up and spiral back in.